Welcome back to a Multiplex, a movie melee. I'm your host, Caleb Lobo Boatman, and today we've got a fun match for you. It is the number 10 seed, Will Cullen, going up against the number uh, 23 seed, I believe, Eric Moreno. This should be a fun match, uh, but uh, before we get into them, uh, on the desk we have Adelaide Spence. Spence, how are you feeling about this matchup? Oh, oh my god, my camera just died. Yep. That's not great. Nope. Well, the void while Adelaide Spence gets that figured out, we'll bring in Eric. Eric, uh, you uh, had a pretty good first match. You weren't able to pull out the victory in your second. How are you feeling coming into this one? Uh, so it was a pretty rough loss. Uh, I had a pretty bad day that day, so I was I was already sick. But uh, Igor uh, beat me fair and square, and uh, I I think I always play better when I I lose the first match. So. Going in, I know what to expect, and and Will, I know Will. He's a pretty good, great guy. He's a hell of a player. He he always has great matches, and uh, at the very least, if I lose, I hope we have a great match. Yeah, absolutely. So now we'll bring in Will and Jake. Will, Jake, uh, Will, you're looking to get uh, another victory, coming off of a victory against Kirk. Looking to get that record up. Looking to move forward in the tournament. How are you feeling? I'm I'm feeling really good. Uh, that uh, that match against Kirk was just a barn burner and a half. Uh, Kirk's a great opponent, and you know that was just a fun match overall. Um, so I'm just looking to have more fun. Uh, like Eric said, uh, we've played in uh, several less official matches, we'll call them, and. Regardless of who the you know who the winner is, we've always had fun together. It's always been just very very entertaining. Uh, Jake, do you want to throw in some words? Yeah, um, I'm re I'm really excited to be here on on Will's behalf. Um, I think he's been he's been playing really well this year um, overall across both divisions. And um, Eric, I think, is somebody I've seen I've seen Eric before in other places uh so i'm excited i was excited when i saw that he came to multiplex because i know he's a good player he's someone that uh we're not underestimating by any stretch so um but i think will i think will's coming in prepared he's got the he's got the experience and uh i'm excited i'm excited to see uh how this match goes absolutely Okay, without further ado, we will get into round one. Round one's going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all eight right. You get a bonus question, three repeats, and a challenge throughout the entire match. Should you need them, remember to keep your hands on screen at all times. As we get started with your first question, which comes in the category of the 1970s. Who wins the fight at the end of Rocky? Oh, we do need first and last name. This movie is fine. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, and screw you for thinking other ways. Five, four, three, yeah. two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Will. Apollo Creed. And Eric. Yeah, they have a technical draw, but Apollo Creed. Uh, yes, that is yeah. <laughs> Apollo Creed is still called the champion at the end of them. But yes, yeah. Eric and Will are both correct. As we get into your next question, Spence. In the category of recent releases, which actress plays Charlie's estranged daughter, Ellie, in the film The Whale? Do you hope they make more Oscar prestige dramas named after aquatic animals? Like, are I mean, we gonna get Jackman and the octopus? I was I was I think you'd like the Marlin. Five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two. One pens down. Get Albert Brooks an Oscar, baby. Let's go to Eric. Uh, Sadie Sink. And well, yeah, I couldn't pull. I said Allison Pill. Uh, Sadie Sink is correct. So Eric gets that one point lead as we get to your next question. Category scores and soundtracks. In which Disney film did Billy Joel perform the song "Why Should I Worry"? What me worry? I was like, what do you worry about? Everything. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Will. 
Uh, he has enough songs about anxiety. Oliver and Company. And Eric. Oliver and Company? Oliver and Company is correct. As we get to the next question. Sci-fi fantasy. Ryan Gosling's character is named after which letter of the alphabet in Blade Runner 2049? I want to go on the record. Oliver and Company. Super underrated. Like, as a movie, shit rips. I, I think it's all right. The soundtrack is killer, though. Fuck. I mean, it's like majority soundtrack, though. <laughs> Two. One. Pens down. Let's go to Eric. I don't know. R. And Will. I said P. Both incorrect looking for K. Hey. Okay. As we get to your next question, category of action adventure, which actress plays Agent Wei Lin in the James Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies? I will take worst fandom category for 200, Alex. <sighs> That's not oh. correct. I don't it, know. It's close. I, it's tough. I know you're scared of everything, but. Five, four, three, two. One. Hands down. Let's go to Eric. Yeah. Michelle Yeoh. And Will. Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh is correct. A question in classics. Marlon Brando's character gives the famous I should have been a contender speech while in what mode of public transportation in On the Waterfront? I love it when uh, a question zigs when you think it's going to zag. Yeah. I... <laughs> So you're more of a fan of a Stardust than a... Four. Three. Zaggy Smalls. Three, one. Pens down. <laughs> go to Will. I'm going to guess a boat. And uh, Eric. I said a bus. Both incorrect. Looking for a taxi or a cab. Oh, okay. As we get to your penultimate question, category of Oscars. What Oscar did Atonement win? It's going to be Rips. It does. It really yeah. does. Like, you think, oh, it's just kind of going to be your average, like, war movie. No, it, it goes hard. It goes hard. I think my third favorite of that year. Three. Two. It's pretty good. One. Pens down. Let's go to Will. Best adapted screenplay. And Eric. I don't know. I said best custom design. Both incorrect looking for original score. Original oh, score. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That score yeah. rips for the record. Anyway, the time writer. <laughs> the last question comes in sports. Name one of the two sports movies directed by Ron Shelton starring Kevin Costner. I, I'm just going to use this time to gush about the atonement score again. Uh, it's it's all like typewriter noises. Like it's a score. The percussion is typewriter and it rips. Five. Nerd. Three. Repeat, please. Okay. That is Will's first repeat. Uh, name one of the two sports movies directed by Ron Shelton, starring Kevin Costner. Uh, one of these people that one of these people you love, just adore. Oh no, yeah, I I hate Kevin Costner with a passion. He's the worst. Five, don't you like when he dances three, with wolves? Hands <laughs> down. No, I don't. Let's go to Eric. <laughs> I'll say backdraft. And Will. Tin Cup? Tin Cup is correct. The other one we would have accepted was Bull Durham. <laughs> I kept the racing I kept the racing Bull Durham for Tin Cup. <laughs> so anyway, it is all tied up four to four as we get into round number two. Round two is gonna work like this. Each competitor is gonna get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. If they don't, they can spin again and spin their effect with it. They're gonna get five questions in whatever category they get. Multiple choice, one point, get it right, two points, get it wrong, other player gets a chance to steal. Categories on our lovely wheel tonight are Hugh Grant rom-coms, fandom horror icons, scores and soundtracks, comic book movies, Oscar, family, coming of age slash teen, and sports. Uh, Will, you are the higher ranked competitor. Would you like to spin first or defer to Eric? Uh, I would I would say go second. Um, I think he did a good job there, but I want to I want to see what what he does here. I agree. Okay, so we'll take out Jake. Eric, this is your spin. And you land on the category of coming of age slash teen. Would you like to keep that or spin again? 
Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Eric, I will give your questions in the category of coming of age slash teen. Who plays Cameron in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Andrew McCarthy, B, Michael, or sorry, B, Ian Michael Smith, C, Brian Backer, D, Alan Ruck. D. What'd you say? D. Alan Ruck. That is correct for one point. In Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, Greg refuses to use the term friend and instead refers to Earl as what? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, his acquaintance, B, his co-worker, C, his brother, D, his person. Uh, I'm going to say uh, A, acquaintance. That is incorrect. Will, for the one-point steal, your options are A, his acquaintance, B, his co-worker, C, his brother, D, his person. I'm going to say D, person. That is also incorrect. Looking for B, co-worker. Co-worker. Oh, okay. yeah. Get to your third question, category of coming of age slash teen. In Rushmore, Max attempts to impress Miss Cross by building what on the school's baseball field? Multiple. Multiple choice options are A, drive-in theater, B, aquarium, C, windmill, D, greenhouse. Uh, say D, greenhouse. That is incorrect. Will, for the one-point steal, your options are A, drive-in theater, B, aquarium, C, windmill, D, greenhouse. Aquarium? That is correct for one point. As we get to your next question in the category of coming of age slash teen, Eric, what is Diane afraid of that she eventually faces up to at the end of Say Anything? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, flying, B, fire, C, horses, D, water. C, horses. That is incorrect. Will, for the one-point steal, your options are A, flying, B, fire, C, horses, D, water. Flying. That is correct for one-point yeah, steal. And your final question, Eric, in the category of coming of age slash teen, Paul Lamatt, Cindy Williams, and Charles Martin Smith co-star in what 70s coming of age film? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, The Last Picture Show, B, American Graffiti, C, Breaking Away, D, Over the Edge. Uh, do I get a free repeat of the options? Yes. A, The Last Picture Show, B, American Graffiti, C, Breaking Away, D, Over the Edge. So... Uh, D, over the edge. That is incorrect. Will, for the one-point steal, your options are A, The Last Picture Show, B, American Graffiti, C, Breaking Away, D, Over the Edge. The Last Picture Show? Also incorrect. Looking for American Graffiti. graffiti. That's, uh, that's the only one I took out, and that's where those <laughs> that well, Look at that before. round. I have Will at six, Eric at five. Is that what you have, Spence? Yes. So six to five as we get into Will's spin. Good job on this. Thank you. Thank you. And you land on Phantom Horror Icons. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Uh, let's go ahead and spin again, please. Okay. okay. I'm going to see if you put it in the But yeah, we'll spin again. This is the category you are stuck with. And you land on Oscars. Take your time, multiple choice, repeats, you yep. got them. Okay, Spence, would you like to give Will his questions in the category of answers? Yes, Will, are you ready? Yes. All right, first question. What Oscar has been won by Henry V, Chariots of Fire, and Dangerous Liaisons? Oh, 
five. Multiple okay. choice, please. All right. Options are A, best adapted screenplay, B, best costume design, C, best art direction, or D, best original score. Best original score. That is incorrect. Eric, for the one point steal, options are A, best adapted screenplay, B, best costume design, C, best art direction, or D, best original score. Um, A, best adapted screenplay. That is also incorrect. Looking for B, best costume design. Yeah, that makes sense. Who is the only person to win best actor for a film that also won best actress twice? Multiple choice. All right, options are A, Clark Gable, B, Marlon Brando, C, Jack Nicholson, or D, Anthony Hopkins. Like a repeat of the options, please. Yep. Options are A, Clark Gable, B, Marlon Brando, C, Jack Nicholson, or D, Anthony Hopkins. Clark Gable. It's incorrect. Eric for the one point steal. Options are A, Clark Gable, B, Marlon Brando, C, Jack Nicholson, or D, Anthony Hopkins. Jack Nicholson. That is correct for one point. Yeah, for as good as what, it gets. And, what's the and film? One, one flew over the cuckoo's nest and as good as it gets. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. The quit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. What song won best original song for films released in 2015? I think I know, but I'd like to go to multiple. All right. Options are A, Glory, B, See You Again, C, Lost Stars, or D, Writings on the Wall. Writings on the Wall. That is correct for one point. Okay. Who is the only person Spike Jones lost Best Director to? Or multiple, three. please. Options are A, Sam Mendez, B, Roman Polanski, C, Steve McQueen, or D, Alfonso Cuaron. Sam Mendez. That is correct for one point. Okay. Should have gone for it. Final question. How many Oscar nominations did Gosford Park, sorry, how many acting Oscar nominations did Gosford Park receive? Let's, be safe. Let's go to multiple. All right. Options are A1, B2, C3, D4. Two. That is correct for one point. Okay. Okay. So it's nine to six coming out of round two as we get into round number three, which is the pick your poison round. Each competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question categories. They will be able to pick from are Sandra Bullock. Recent releases, action adventure, Will Smith, war, music, romantic comedies, and classics. We're going to let them pick their categories right now, and we will get back to you right now. Okay, our competitors have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. We're going to start off with Eric and his one-pointer in action adventure. Spence, take it away. Eric, are you ready? Yep. All right, question. Who plays Secret Service agent Mike Banning in Olympus Has Fallen? Get her butler. That's correct for one point. All right. Two pointer in rom coms. What 2010s romantic comedy features the cast of Zach Efron, Michael B. Jordan, and Miles Teller? Four, three, the night before. Two. Is incorrect. Looking for that awkward moment. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your three pointer in Will Smith. 
The majority of concussion takes place in what U.S. city? Uh, Philadelphia? This is incorrectly for Pittsburgh. Uh, ah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Your four so we're in a situation points. where Eric does need to yeah. hit his four in recent releases in order to send it back to Will. All right. Eric, are you ready for your four-pointer? <laughs> yeah. All right. In the B.J. Novak film Vengeance, the Shaw family takes Ben to what burger chain restaurant, which is their favorite? Uh, you got to go with that movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Five. Four. Four. Question? Right. In the B.J. Novak film Vengeance, <laughs> The Shaw family takes Ben to what burger chain restaurant, which is their favorite? Five. Four. Repeat. Three. In the BJ Novak film Vengeance. The Shaw family takes Ben to what burger chain restaurant, which is their favorite? I am not American. I mean, I am American, but I don't eat there. <laughs> it's only so much, I know. The Sorry. last, I haven't used any of them. Last That's one? the last one. Yeah. Okay. In the BJ Novak film, Vengeance, the Shaw family takes Ben to what burger chain restaurant, which is their favorite? I'm just going to say it because I, I, we go there when, I, when we go <laughs> there. Uh, in and out. And Damn. your winner by way of technical knockout, Will Cohen. The correct answer was Whataburger. Burger. Whataburger. Yeah. Never been there. <laughs> Texas. Anyway, we are going to uh, go to post-match interviews, starting with Eric. Eric, round three didn't go your way, but you kind of held in there. You know, after round two didn't really go your way, you kind of held in there with Oscars getting those steals. And then, so yeah, I, I think I you can hold your head high after this match. How are you feeling? I mean, uh, I am uh, the only one that, that I'm, it's going to really kick me is the concussion one because I have seen that one. <laughs> the rest of the questions, except for maybe the American Graffiti, is movies I haven't seen, so I cannot kick myself for that. But if I had think it over, I probably would have got the Pittsburgh. It's Philadelphia's in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah, they're both in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I thought. But yeah, I don't mind losing to Will. Will's a great guy. Hopefully, he goes uh, to have a great, um, how do you say it? Uh, tournament run? Run in the tournament, yeah. Tur I, I really don't have <laughs> don't have really much stakes in the tournament. I just really like to win so I can keep playing a bit more. <laughs> but uh, hopefully Will does great. He always uh, does his best. And even when he had a, a multiple choice, similar round, he did better than I could. <laughs> it just happened to be a lot of coming of age movies I haven't seen. So. That's fair. I don't mind that. Well, when you do come back, uh, we love to have you back. When you do come back, uh, who do you want to play next? Or just anybody who comes through? I would like to play in teams. I would like to play in fandom. I, I didn't sign up for fandom the first time because I thought you were really like the inner geek them, the, <laughs> like really deep questions. But now, now that I have seen that you have Disney and James Bond, American Spies, horror, N not saying I, I don't want to push myself to, to, but if you get a spot free, I would love to take a shot. And in the singles, uh, I've seen uh, JPO is playing. Uh, he did pretty good in his match. He, uh, he's always fun to, to play. Uh, if I had won this match, I would have said Mark Manchaka because he defeated Will in the last year's tournament. But if he gets a free time, I could play him and lose him too. <laughs> yeah. That is fair. Well, thank you, Eric. And now we're going to go to our winner tonight. Will, Will, I believe this is two years in a row. You pulled off the victory of round one of the turn. Or no, no, that's not right. This is your first round one victory. That's right. I get things mixed up. This is your first yep. round one right third, now. Yeah, third tournament, first win round one. So. Oh, yeah. God, this is your third man talk third the tournament. flat circle will i don't know <laughs> i've been here for five years help I you're old <laughs> <laughs> five years but um i 
I think I think this is the uh, the lowest scoring TKO I've ever seen as well. Uh, this is the first time I've never uh, I haven't gotten double digits out of uh, out of round two as well. So this was kind of a this was kind of nerve wracking a little bit, especially since I knew his his four pointer because Vengeance was one of my uh, top films of last year. It's great, but it's oh, great. it's such a great movie. Oh. That Oh yeah, we'll 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 discuss that one later at uh, ad nauseum, but uh, no, this was uh, th- th- you know this was you know wasn't one of my strongest showings, but it definitely was one of my more competitive ones. Uh, even getting a category in round two that I uh, you know I usually try to avoid like the plague, I managed to actually do fairly well in it. So uh, you know I I think. Uh, I, I think I think uh, maybe I actually do belong here after all. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we will be seeing you in the next round of the tournament. I don't have the information in terms of who you're playing next, but how do you feel like you know it'd be fun to play out of the people who you kind of know are in there? And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, someone, ideally, someone not in the faction. Uh, I think that, that would be is, nice. Uh, I think that's the company line here. So, um, I'd like to play someone who I think will be fun to play, and I can give a run for their money. That's what I'm going to say. That's fair. I don't know who that is, but oh, actually, I know. I know who I want to play. I want to play Jerry May Potter's again. That's where I. That's where I want to play. I want to play Jerry May Potter's again. Fair enough. Well, thank you, Will. Thank you, Jake. Spence, final thoughts on the match? Yeah, I'll, I'll echo Will's sentiment. A low-scoring TKO is definitely an interesting match because it's you know, like you expect to like, oh, really big number for small groups. This was fairly close. It just came down to the fact that round three didn't really go in Eric's favor. Mm-hmm. Overall, they're keeping it pretty tight. It was just at the end of the day, you get elevated question difficulty. If you don't know something, it's harder to really pull that out of whatever. Yeah. That is true. Well... Thank you to Will. Thank you to Eric. Thank you to Spence. Thank you to Jake for managing. Thank you to everyone at home for watching. This has been Multiplex, a movie melee, and we will see you later. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Goodbye.